Thank you, Kev. The World Wide Web has evolved into a community of hope, progress, and unfortunately, evil. Predators, scammers, pedophiles, people on the other end of your computer are stalking, grooming, and harming anyone they can trap into their wicked webs. Today we are going to examine how we can protect ourselves and especially our children from these online dangers. We break down the dark side of social media. And for the first time, a Bakersfield mother shares her story. How a person hidden on the other side of the internet came to murder her innocent daughter. 17's Aaliyah Fitzgerald has this report. June 2020, the COVID lockdown was in full effect and a young girl found that, like many of us, engaging with the outside world provided a sense of normalcy. Patricia Jocelyn Alatori, Clara Alvarez's miracle child. I cried, I actually cried, not because I was pregnant, no. I already had seven other children. It was just the fact, here we go again. Another child entering a household where most of her siblings were already grown. Another child to care for, but a child every parent would hope for. Out of all of them, I enjoyed her the longest. And I always say, maybe that's why God let me enjoy her so much, because I wasn't gonna have her for so long. Patty was a free spirit, an active teen. Fishing, she loved to go fishing. Patty was playing ball in the street, in the middle of the street with the boys, with my sons and her, our little neighbor friends. That was Patty. Playing with neighbor kids or siblings is different than playing with someone that you don't know. Patricia Alatori found someone online. We need to really identify these people and keep them away from our children. Coast to Coast stories of molested, abducted, and murdered children grab headlines. A registered child sex offender is arrested for the death of a missing 15-year-old girl. Kern County is not immune to this terror. In South Bakersfield, where 13-year-old Patricia Alatore was last seen. Police are now investigating her disappearance as a homicide. She played um, Fortnite a lot. That's the only way I think that she where he came across with her because she played Fortnite a lot. It's not all fun and games. It's a long and dark road traveling through the internet. We need to educate our children about realizing that whoever's on the other side of this on social media, you have no idea who they are. How did 24-year-old Armando Cruz groom the 12-year-old? The man from Inglewood used the internet. That we know. Which online platform, we may never know. We do know he convinced her to send graphic images of her body in a very short period of time. People say it'll get better, it doesn't. It doesn't. I feel the same way as when I found out she was gone. It doesn't even get easier. It gets harder because you just imagine where she would have been. Children, unfortunately, talk to strangers on social media platforms and they get drawn into situations that they're really too immature to handle. You have to watch what your kids do and do not give them unfettered access to the internet. They are not able to handle that. His plan took less than a week. He persuaded Patty to meet. He drove from Los Angeles to Bakersfield. What happened after that is the personification of evil. Patty went missing on July 1st, 2020. It initially was investigated as a child runaway. And if you can just for a minute visualize that your child has been taken from you and you don't know where they're at and you may never ever know, that's just the most horrible feeling I can imagine. She wasn't allowed to go anywhere. She wasn't allowed to go to her friend's house. Video surveillance was located, uh, which depicted Patricia getting into a white older model pickup truck a truck driven by Armando Cruz. Does catch her voice on the audio, and it sounds like she says, I'm leaving yeah. or I'm not leaving. Cruz drove Patty around Bakersfield for hours, then strangled her. After that, the story becomes even more graphic. We're not going to repeat those details here. One fact that we will share from the report, Patty fought back. It was here in the industrial portion of Inglewood where Cruz proceeded to take Patty's lifeless body, duct taped in a sleeping bag, and proceeded to set her on fire. 
possibly to hide his crimes and possibly for others to find her. Armando Cruz wasn't the only predator hunting in Kern. In September, 22 arrests were made in Kern County as part of a sexual predator sting called Operation Bad Barbie. They were arrested and booked on a number of charges, including human trafficking, pimping, pandering, sending harmful material to seduce a minor, arranging a meeting with a minor for a lewd purpose. Among those arrests was a registered sex offender with a prior conviction for sexual assault involving a 14-year-old. These people are right in our backyard. A few months ago, 21-year-old Daniel Diaz was arrested in Bakersfield after meeting a local teenager on the popular gaming platform Roblox. He was then found in the back of a vehicle with her at University Park. Predators can look like anyone. By the defendant, Brian Pardue, guilty of felony to wit, contacting or attempting to contact a minor. This is an ex-CHP officer being sentenced in an online child sex sting. Brian Pardue was arrested three years ago after exchanging sexually graphic messages on a dating app with a person who said that they were 16. The other person was actually a sheriff's investigator. Predators will go to great lengths to meet with their prey. A well-known advocate for pedophilia. This is a man who runs a website which encourages the raping of children and sharing of naked photos and video of children being raped. Take Nathan Larson, an ex-politician who tried running for office several times with no success, who described himself publicly as a pedophile. Larson traveled from Virginia to Fresno in 2020. Why? To convince a 12-year-old girl that he had groomed online to follow him back to Virginia. He lured her out of her home at 2 in the morning, headed to the airport and for the East Coast. He took her through airport security, convincing TSA agents that she was mute and making her wear a wig as a disguise. But hours after she snuck out of the house, the 12-year-old's parents discovered their daughter was missing and contacted the authorities. Quick thinking, quick acting investigators cracked into the girl's social media and figured out Larson's plan. He was stopped and arrested at a layover in Denver. The girl was rescued. As for the monster who took Patty's life, Cruz avoided the death penalty by accepting a plea deal. Life without the possibility of parole. I don't think it's appropriate, but I know that California doesn't execute the death penalty. I would love to see him get put to death for what he did. Online safety is more than financial scams or identity theft. Children are being targeted. Predators are roaming our streets and the internet. We do know that there are pedophiles in our country. We do know that, at least in my opinion, that's not curable and they're going to reoffend. And your children are the ones that they're looking for. For 17 News, I'm Aliyah Fitzgerald.